what was really going on with the bleeding woman that touched Jesus? Because that was wild. I am three plus key. I'm your favorite social worker. I'm here to encourage you to pursue the smile by prioritizing the Lord, your physical health and persistent education. And I want to talk about the bleeding woman that touched Jesus's garment. Um, so first let's start with second Timothy three sixteen states. All scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction and for instruction in righteousness. So a quick story. I was a new believer in somebody's Bible study and we were discussing that bleeding woman that touched the hem of Christ's garment. And the emphasis of the conversation was on the woman's faith. Um, and I had made a comment uh, of whether or not the woman was um, compelled almost against her will to go to Christ um, because she believed in his holy power. And I remember in that moment, because that wasn't the specific way um, we were speaking of the subject, no one acknowledged my comment. And so I thought that I had said something wrong or being a new believer that, um, you know, I had just spoken out of um, turn. But this notion of being compelled against almost a, a, against her will to go to Christ, that notion stuck with me. So even a few months later after that group, I bought a book about the questions that Jesus asked, specifically looking for the question, who touched my garment? And incidentally, it was one of the few questions that weren't even <laughs> in, uh, in that book. So it wasn't until just the other day, years and years later, just the other day, I was going through the Gospel of John and I saw an answer to that question of whether or not the woman was compelled, um, perhaps um, you know, very strongly by some kind of force, uh, is what I was thinking. Um, that notion was biblically validated in John 6, uh, 44 and 45. So of the many interpretations of, um, this, this story of the, or this event of the bleeding woman, the one I'd like to discuss is in Mark chapter five verses 25 through 35. Um, and uh, it really talks about um, the woman and the Holy Spirit and how the Holy Spirit satisfies that instruction in righteousness. So Mark chapter five, starting in verse 25 says, and there was a woman who had a discharge of blood for 12 years and who had suffered under many physicians and had spent all that she had and was no better, but rather grew worse. She had heard the reports about Jesus and came up behind him in the crowd and touched his garment. For she said, if I touch even his garments, I will be made well. And immediately the flow of blood dried up and she felt in her body that she was healed of her disease. And Jesus perceiving in himself that power had gone out from him immediately turned about in the crowd and said who touched my garments and his disciples said to him you see the crowd pressing around you and yet you say who touched me and he looked around to see who had done it but the woman knowing what had happened to her came in fear and trembling and fell down before him and told him the truth, the whole truth. And he said to her, daughter, your faith has made you well. Go in peace and be healed of your disease. So she's, she's in her house or her residence. She's been bleeding for 12 years, ostracized from society, considered unclean by societal standards of that time, she gets up, something in her gives her the strength 
to face the the vitriol and potential harassment from her community to go into the public go to christ and just touch the hem of his garment because she knew and believed in his healing power and he said now remember christ knows all he's omniscient he knew who it was before he asked the question and he said who touched me looking around and she in fear and trembling because she didn't know what was going to happen it she was ready she risked it all <laughs> and she she bent down before him and said it was me and christ knowing what had gone on in her head way back there before she even came out into public um knowing that she had had made such a risk just to be healed by him he says your faith has made you well go in peace and be healed of your disease so that's what happened there in mark 5 25 through 34 and my thought on the matter was that the woman that had incessant bleeding almost against her will ran to christ for healing she was already ostracized from society due to her condition and must have been in some turmoil some tension over pursuing him because she would certainly face vitriol from her community ultimately though something gave her the strength to endure the discomfort and publicly seek christ for healing and so i came across uh in the gospel of john chapter 6 verses 44 and 45 which explains that um that strength that overpowered her that allowed her to leave her residence and pursue christ and that passage says no one can come to me unless the father who sent me draws him and i will raise him up on the last day it is written in the prophets and they will all be taught by god everyone who has heard and learned from the father comes to me so drawn to me and comes to me um and the application here is when someone chooses to believe in jesus christ as their savior they do so only in response to the urging of god's holy spirit god does the urging then we decide whether to listen and believe thus no one can believe in jesus without god's help the holy spirit gives spiritual life without the work of the holy spirit we cannot even see our new or our need for new life all spiritual renewal begins and ends with god he reveals the truth to us lives within us and then enables us to respond to that truth so my notion of there being some powerful strength that compelled the woman to go out into public seek christ and touch his garment for her ultimate healing that notion that i had was uh biblically validated by um by john that says it's the holy spirit that works within us and then we act so we're stirred and we're urged by him the holy spirit and then we respond we act on it so the takeaway um i want you to have from these passages are that the woman that had incessant bleeding was compelled by the holy spirit then she acted on it by seeking christ in the crowd i want you to allow the holy spirit to guide you he will give you the instruction for righteousness that was stated in second timothy 3 16 which again says all scripture is given by inspiration of god and is profitable for doctrine for reproof for correction for instruction in righteousness so that was the takeaway is is be compelled 
by the Holy Spirit, be compelled to action by the Holy Spirit. I am three plus key. I'm your favorite social worker. I'm here to encourage you to pursue the smile by prioritizing the Lord, your physical health and persistent education. I want you to subscribe and hit that notification bell for more content like this. Like this video if you love it and definitely share it with someone who could appreciate this content. The scriptures um, that I went over will be below in the description. And I'll talk to you later.